So I've had a lot of people ask me how to create instances using GML in their rooms in the new Game Maker Studio 2, especially now that Instance Create is now obsolete. And it's actually really easy. Uh, if you don't already know, Instance Create has been replaced with two new codes called Instance Create Depth and Instance Create Layer. Now I would encourage you to go to the help manual and just read the files for both of these and it'll help you get a pretty good understanding of what's going on here. Now I will say it's it's really easy and once you get the hang of it you'll actually begin to like this a lot more. So I'll go ahead and explain instance create depth. Basically it's the same thing as instance create only you have to assign a depth to the instance. So if you don't care about what depth the instance you're creating is you can just put zero so you can put the x, y, x position, y position, zero, and then the name of the instance uh, of, or the object that you want to create. Um, and then it'll create it just like the instance create code. Uh, or you can assign it a depth between the numbers negative 16,000 and positive 16,000. So you can work within that region. And uh, so, yeah, it's pretty cool. So you can create your object with a depth. So that's the first way that you can create instances in your room, and it's really easy. The other way is instance create layer. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use this. Uh, if you don't already know, Game Maker Studio now uses layers, and layers are basically the same thing that you find in like Photoshop or any image editing software where you have these different layers and you can uh, manipulate things within that layer and it's pretty handy and it's uh, again you'll, you'll end up really loving it once you get used to it so what am I talking about layers well we can open up our room and we can see in this panel right here are different layers. Now when you create a new room, you will already have two layers already created and that's instances and background. You can also create more layers with these buttons down here. You can create a new background layer, a new instance layer, a new tile set layer, a path layer, and a asset layer. And then you can create new folders to keep your layers organized and you can delete your layers as well. So you can only edit the layer that you have selected. So I cannot change my background at all unless I click my primary background layer, which is this one right here. And now I can change the color of the background. So let's change it to this horrible color. Uh, so there we go. Uh, I can also give my, my background an image. Uh, you have to load it as a sprite, so keep that in mind. If you didn't notice, the background folder is completely gone out of Game Maker Studio 2, so you have to load it as a sprite and then just select it right here. Uh, so, like I said, these these layers should automatically create when you make a new room. Uh, you can rename the layers to whatever you want, and the name of your layer is important because when you use the code instance create layer, you basically put the name of that layer under instance ID and you do it as a string. So keep that in mind. You can use an ID, which is a number which is more efficient, but it doesn't matter that much. You can use a string. So basically you would take this name instances and you would put that for the third argument of instance create layer. But again, you can name these two whatever you want, and I encourage you, you're going to want multiple layers because you can do a lot with layers. And I'm not going to do a whole tutorial in this video on layers, but again, check out the help menu because you can deactivate uh, a whole layer of objects. So let's say you want to get rid of all the enemies at once. Let's say the player has like this super ability that will kill all the enemies. Uh, you can have a layer with all your enemies in it and then just boom just do something with them all at once so uh... it's cool to have an understanding of layers and get good with them because you can do a lot of interesting things with them so we're gonna make multiple layers uh... we're gonna rename this layer called instances to our controller objects and basically any object that needs to be running all the time we would throw in this layer. So like our object controller that I made, I'm gonna go ahead and drag that in. I'm now going to make a new layer and I'm gonna call this one walls. And then I'm going to drag my wall in. Uh, I gotta select my layer. <laughs> 
Now I'm going to drag my wall in. Okay, so again, you can only manipulate the objects that uh, are in the layer that you've selected. So I cannot click this controller object at all. Now I can click this, I can move it around, but I can't mess with this controller object unless I select the layer that this object is in. And of course now I can't mess with my walls. Um, I can make these invisible, I can bring them back. If I delete, which let me add a few more in here. Uh, if I delete this walls layer, there goes all my instances within that layer. So you can see it's pretty cool. It, it's pretty neat once you get the hang of it. Uh, so we're gonna make a new layer and again we're gonna name it walls. And then we're going to um, go back to our workspace and in object controller we're gonna add an event. It's gonna be a key press um, space and then we're going to basically say whenever we click space instance create layer and then we're gonna say our mouse X our mouse Y and then for our layer ID we're gonna put this in walls and then we're going to create object wall one so um, that's basically all you have to do. So you can see I have this in a string, so you gotta put quotations around this. It's not a variable, it will be a string. So there's walls and that's what I've named this layer. So now when we run our game, whenever we click space, it should create uh, our green wall, which is wall one at my mouse X and my mouse Y. So it's, yeah, it's that easy. And then we could say something like um, when we do key press, I don't know, enter, uh, we could do something like this. We can deactivate, um, where's it at? Is it this one? Uh, yeah, so, so we, can, we can do this. So when we click enter, we can use this code, uh, instance deactivate layer and then we can put in our layer ID which is walls so now I mean this is just something for you to understand and something for you to know but uh, now when we ever when we click enter it will delete any any object that we've created in the layer that's called walls so let's run the game so again when we click uh, space it's gonna create these uh, walls in the object uh, or I'm sorry, in the layer walls, and when we click enter, it's going to, boom, delete them all at once, which is super cool. So again, to give you more of an understanding, we're gonna create one more instance layer, and we're gonna rename this to walls under slash two. So now in our uh, controller object, whenever we, uh, let's see here, key press, whenever we click up, Let's say instance create layer uh, mouse x mouse y oops, <laughs> mouse y and then walls under slash two and then object wall two. So now when we click the up key, uh, it's going to create one of these blue walls in the new instance layer, which I've called walls two. So let's go ahead and play the game. So now when we click space, it's going to create our green walls at our mouse position. When we click the up uh, arrow key, it's going to create the blue uh, walls. But when we click enter, all the green walls should disappear. And it does. But it keeps our blue walls. And that is because we have it set to only deactivate all the objects that were created in walls. So I hope that gives you guys an understanding a little bit of an understanding of how layers work and how you can use them to your advantage. So again, that is for uh, your objects. You can create a, a tile layer for your tiles and, uh, and all that good stuff. But I think that about wraps it up for this video. If you have any questions or comments, uh, please leave them below. Don't forget to tickle the like button and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys next video.